Welcome back to Crochet by Landry. In this video, we are gonna make a daisy wheel dishcloth for our kitchen. So go grab your pattern off of yarnspirations.com. I'll put the link in the description box down below. Grab your Burnout Handicrafter cotton and your size five millimeter hook, and let's get started. Welcome back everybody. So today we're gonna make the daisy wheel dishcloth. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need Burnout Handicrafter cotton yarn in two colors. I have red and azalea. Your hook, I'm using a 5.0 millimeter hook, a yarn needle, and some scissors. And if you wanna follow along with me, you can get the pattern off of yarnspirations.com. I'll put the link in the description box down below. But other than that, let's get started. Okay, so my main color is gonna be the red. Grab your main color and let's get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a slip knot. go okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain four to get start to get going so one two three four and then we're gonna slip stitch into the into the fourth chain from your hook do a slip stitch to form a ring and we're gonna be working in the center of that ring going forward to get ourselves going so now what we're going to do for the first round is you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and this counts as a double crochet. And in every other round, in every round going forward, it counts as a double crochet. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put nine double crochets in the middle of the ring. Now the middle of the ring is right here. It's not above it. It's right here. Okay. So what you're going to do to make a double crochet, again, is going to yarn over, go into the center, yarn over again, pull up a loop, you've got three on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. That's one. Now we're going to do eight more. So yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, you should have ten double crochets, that's including the chain three at the end of this. So that's, let's see, three, so we need six more. Five more. Four more. I'm just gonna get some more yarn, there we go. Okay, if you need to count and stop and count just in case, go ahead. Like I said, the chain three counts as a double crochet, so it's Anything after that, so one, two, three, four, that's five. That's six. Oops. Seven. Eight. And nine. Now what you're gonna do to join your round is you're gonna join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three. Now the chain three is right here. Okay, you're gonna to join to that first top of the chain. So one, two, three. So you're just gonna join with a slip stitch to the top, top of the chain three. Okay, there we go. And that is round one completed. Okay, let's move on to round two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain three again. So one, two, three, and you're gonna do a double crochet in that same space where you slip stitched out of. So it's right here, right at the base of your chain three. And again, that chain three, oops, counts as a double crochet. So you don't just have one in this space, you have two. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do two double crochets in each stitch around, going from 10 double crochets to 20. And at the end of this round, we will be changing colors. So get your secondary color ready to go. So I'm just gonna keep going here. And once you've reached your last double crochet, I will meet up with you. Okay, I'm almost done round two here. 
So I'm just going to show you. So it's going to look like you have two stitches left, but this, uh, this one is a good stitch, but this one is a false stitch. You're only going to use, do not use the false stitch. So that's 20. And then I'm going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three, like we did before. Okay. Now, instead of continuing with the red, I'm just going to trim my yarn, put the red aside, and I'm going to grab my secondary color. And I'm going to use that. And I'm going to chain three with my secondary color. go and your tails you can you can weave those in at the end or you can work over them that's up to you so that's that was one that's two and that's three now what you're gonna do again is for round three you're gonna put one double crochet in the same space as the slip stitch like you did in the prior prior round without letting your yarn fall off your hook is also helpful okay and then you're gonna put do two double crochets in the next one after that so that's one and that's two there we go now don't forget that chain three counts as a double crochet and then what you're going to do is you're just going to keep going around and you're going to do that again, two double crochets in each stitch around going from 20 to 40. And I'm just going to work over my, uh, my tails here, less sewing for later. You guys can do whatever you want, work over your tails or sew them in. It's up to you. So we're just going to do two double crochets in each stitch around. And once you've reached your last double crochet, like I said, do not use that false stitch. And then slip stitch to the top of the chain three. And once you've reached that point, I will meet you there. Okay, that is the end of round three. I'm just gonna join with a slip stitch to the top of my chain three. Sticking with my secondary color B, I'm gonna chain three again. One, two, and three. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to put a double crochet in each of the next two double crochets. So don't put one in this slip stitch. You're gonna put one in the next and one in the one after that. So you're gonna go do it three times. So that's two and three. And don't forget your chain three counts as a double crochet. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put two in the next stitch after that. So that's one. And that's two. So the pattern is going to be one, two, three, and then an increase. Then one, two, three, then an increase. So it's so one, two, and three, and then an increase. So that means two single, two double crochets in the same stitch just like that and then you're going to do that all the way around increasing your stitches from 40 to 50 and once you've done that i will meet you at the end of round four okay i finished round four and i've already joined with my color a which is my my red my primary color and i've already done my chain three so now let's get going on round five so what we're going to do is you're just going to do one double crochet in each stitch all the way around and you should have a total of 50. So one double crochet in each stitch all the way around and again you should have a total of 50 double crochets including the chain three. So just do one in each and then we will move on to round six. Okay, let's move on to round six. So what we're gonna do is, again, join with a slip stitch to the top of your chain three, 
and then you're going to chain three to begin. So one, two, and three. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do one double crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. And then you're going to do two in the next one after that. So one and then an increase, which is two double crochets in the same stitch. Now that's the pattern. So what you're going to do for the remainder of this round is you're going to go one, two, three, four, and then an increase. One, two, three, four, and then an increase. And you're just going to do that all the way around until you reach the end. Once you've reached the end, slip stitch to the beginning of the chain three, top of the chain three, and then you're going to chain three with your color B, and I will meet you there, and we will do our last and final round together. Okay, let's move on to our seventh and final round. So what you're going to do is you're going to attach your color B, and we're going to do that with the for the final round, which is the border of our dishcloth. So now what we're going to do is you're going to single crochet into the slip stitch space that you came out of. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to skip a double crochet and you're going to go into the next double crochet after that. And you're going to make what's called eight treble crochets. So you're going to yarn over twice. So one, two, then you're going to go into the space, pull up a loop till you have four on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. That's one. We're going to do this eight times total. So pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Yarn over twice, pull up a loop, two, two, and two. And you're just going to keep going until you've gotten eight treble crochets. Okay, just keep going. Take your time, that's four, five, and six, and seven, and last one, eight. Now what you're going to do is you're going to skip another double crochet and single crochet into the one after that. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you are going to skip another double crochet and then put eight more trebles into the double crochet after that. And you're just going to do this all the way around not forgetting to skip a double crochet in between your single crochets and your treble fans. So just remember to skip a skip a st stitch. And once you've gone all the way around and you're down to your last three double crochets, I will meet you there. Okay. Once you've done your last eight trebles, you're going to slip stitch to the top or slip stitch to your single crochet you first started with. Once you've done that, trim your yarn, pull your tail through after fastening off, and then you're going to weave in all your tails. And once you've done that, we have finished our dishcloth. And that's it for today, everybody. We made a daisy wheel dishcloth for our kitchen. So don't forget, subscribe down below, hit that notification bell, and hit the like button. And don't forget, leave a comment if there's any ideas or videos you want to see in the future. So don't forget, I'll see you next week.